Welcome back, everybody, to uh, the 14th part of our Sunday Drive, 14th episode, so you say. Um, it's going to be primarily my review of my thoughts on the new Avengers movie and some other tidbits at the end. But the reason I'm sitting still is because I've written down all of my thoughts and like so I could convey my full thought instead of trying to drive and just just be a complete lost mess. So without further ado, I'm just gonna bail straight into it. Uh what the hell was that? I'm like okay. Um I'm gonna start off by saying that it is a great movie, in my personal opinion. Um it's the classic mix of comedy, action, and jokes, obviously. The jokes are great. They usually are in Avengers. Some of them, some movies in the, in, are better than others, but they're really good in this one. They, they hit well. Uh, they're smooth. They don't, like, seem forced like the DC movies. Sometimes they're just so damn forced. It's like, uh, you, like, cringe when you hear it. You're like, it's just not working for me. Um, I'm not going to lie. I had... I had no idea what was going to happen, who's going to die, like, what's going to happen. I didn't know, so I was constantly on the edge of my seat the whole time. More than I am for most uh, movies about comics. Usually, they have a, a familiar timeline that they go around, but this one was really different. Does he have, like, a CV radio or what? I'm going to put this controller over there in a pillow. Cover up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> that was really obnoxious. Um, and I the, the thing that I loved the most about, and I always was expe um, happy when I heard that they were doing Thanos, is that they finally have a villain. Not just a villain in an army like most of their Avengers movies are. Like, yeah, the villain's okay, but they're really good because they have a whole goddamn army with huge machines and stuff. Um, but a villain that is by himself a badass, really. I mean, he can really stand up to all of them and have a chance to, like, survive against many Avengers at once. Really, the other villains, like Ultron, could he himself battle all of the villains? I mean, all of the Avengers? No, he couldn't. It, I mean, he needed his army, and, like, Loki. Clearly, he couldn't. So, it's like, they need the armies to support them, but Thanos... I mean, he doesn't even need an army, really. If he has the Infinity Gauntlet, nothing can stop him. So, not even the Avengers. So, just the thought that, like, he himself could just be unstoppable, honestly. Um, I mean, it's not really going to be... Yeah, I won't say that. We'll let it go at that. And I think he's just, overall, he seems to be a very good villain. I, I, I really like that... Um, He's not just, like, some mad titan, like, psychopath that just has a lust for, like, power and just to destroy everything. He actually has, like, a view of, like, in his mind of a righteous path that he's on. And that what he's doing, like, to try to get towards this point to wipe out half the universe is because he truly thinks that he has to do that to save these people. And he truly thinks that he's doing them well. And I just think that it adds such a good complexity to the character that it's just perfect, if you ask me. Uh, what else did I love about the movie? Um, Thor, obviously, is my favorite Avenger. Just because, mostly because he's overpowered. Just like... I will say that I'm a DC fanboy. I, I would pick DC Comics over Marvel Comics, but Marvel movies are... Nobody's arguing that Marvel movies aren't better than DC movies because DC movies are frankly fucking trash. Besides maybe the Dark Knight trilogy. But still, they're trash. They need to just redo. Their whole, their whole thing needs to be redone. Um, I would say, without giving too much away, which it's not going to give anything away at all, there was a part, this is why I love Thor so much, there was a part where... Like, Thor comes into the thing, and he's, just like, chills just shot straight from the bottom of my spine, like, all the way up into my, my fucking cortex, and I just, like, I was, like, frozen in, like, ecstasy almost. It was just, it's just so cool, and, like, I just love when movies can do that to you when you think of, like, I'm, the last time I can think of is 
when Luke and Kylo are battling in, uh, what is that, The Last Jedi? And if you haven't seen The Last Jedi and you care that much about Star Wars, then you're just, it's not, this is on you, honestly. But Kylo's about to kill Luke, and like he thinks he's killing him, but he's not, because and it pans up to Luke's island, and he's just like hovering in air, and it, like the whole thing was just a projection. And I, just like, you can't, there's so few times that I can think of that a movie has like, got me to have, like, straight chills. And it, it was just... It's just great, honestly. I love it. Um, I actually had, after seeing the movie, planned on... Uh, I wrote a bunch of stuff down that I didn't like, and I was going to make, like, a little rant video. And just the more I thought about it today and was just thinking about the movie, I... I ended up coming to the realization that I disagree with most of the opinions that I had after I watched it. It's it's not going it's not like a perfect Avengers movie. It's not a perfect storyline that everybody wants. It's it's complex. There's darkness. I mean Thanos is he he's literally going to he's trying to wipe out half the universe so there's just so much more at play than just saving New York City or you know, saving a Russian city. It's just like the whole universe is at stake here. And the stakes are so high. And it, you just have like the whole, the way it's filmed, the battles, the choreography. Like, it's just the way they, the screenplay, the, it's just, it's just a really, really good movie, honestly. And I, I think it's a very good ending to this 10-year cycle that they've had going on. Or part of the ending. I mean, because it's not over yet. But this is the culmination of their 10-year plan. And I I honestly could not think of a better way to end it than Infinite, Infinity um, War. I don't know what else to say. It was just... It was a good movie. It was more than good. It was great, honestly. I hesitate to give anything a 10 out of 10 because that means movie perfection, but it's hard to not give it a 10 out of 10. It's the risk they take. I mean, obviously, you know, people are going to get killed off and like the risk they take to, in, in doing it. It's just it just it puts it into an upper echelon of movies and certainly an upper echelon of uh, superhero movies like right to the top. I you would have to put this in the top three, in my opinion, at least top five superhero movies of all time. Definitely Marvel superhero movies. So I would definitely, if you're into Marvel movies, go watch this shit as soon as you possibly can. And definitely see it in theaters. I mean, you can only get so much of the real action and like emulsion Immersion, not emotion. Immersion in the in the movie than you can at a movie theater, and you might have a surround sound at your home and a big TV, but it's just not going to be the same thing at all. So I would urge you to go out and watch it. I'll give it like a nine point eight. How about that? Because <laughs> like I I don't want to give it a ten. I just don't want to. But a nine point eight I think is well fair. I mean, it gets a straight eight just for Drax's comedy alone. Like, it, it, his comedy is just prime time. Okay, now I'm going to gun it off this, bolt, off this, and we're going to get into the actual things that happened to me, slash things I watched, things I did. That was as anticlimactic as you can possibly get. I really thought I was going to split that gap on the first try. And yes, my car is fucked up because... I went to the wrong spot at first. I wanted to get to the observatory to get the view of the city. And I had to take some mountain paths and I hit some trees and I dig this. Okay. We're giving this one more try and then we're just gonna drive off over here. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, we're just gonna drive off over here. It's not gonna be as cool, but we still won't be able to see where the hell we're going. Uh Westworld came out. Holy shit. Um this show is just wild. It, it's just so hard to like it's almost a show that you have to watch they need like an after 
after the show. You know what? No, we're just gonna take a different car. This thing, this thing, it doesn't have any pop tires, but it barely runs. Westworld is almost like a show that you need like an after, immediately after, like an hour long, like review show of what happened in that episode because it's impossible to follow everything. And, or maybe that's just like me not being able to focus as well, but like I feel like I am, and it's just hard to follow. There's just so many little. Oh my! I thought I, I thought for sure I was dying. There's so many little parts that you just you. It's it's hard to get them all in one viewing. It's, you almost need to watch it multiple times to get the full gist of what they're trying to get through in the show. Please tell me I can get out of here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> some fun. I was out grilling, and the cat he just loves going outside onto the patio, and he won't he won't do anything. He'll just go out there and chill. So we let him out for the first time this year, or at least I did, and it's it, it's a little bit dirty on the porch on the patio, just because all the leaves and shit have been deteriorating. And he just immediately, like one second, just started rolling all over the place. Smashing his head into the ground, kicking dirt up, and he turned from a orange and white cat to an orange and brown cat very soon. It was just disgusting, and then he was trying to rub up on me. I was like, "Get away from me, cat! This is horrible." But he's a cat, and I love him, so I cuddled him. Sarah was not happy though. That's for sure. How dirty he got! It was just gross. I don't. I, have I? Is this an inferno? Is that what this is? Pagazi Infernus. Not Inferno, Infernus, whatever. Uh, what else? Last thing that I did. Uh, we went bowling on Tuesday. I don't know what day it was to be exact. I think it was Tuesday. I, for some reason, when I bowl, my first game is never good as good as my second game is. I need, I need to like get going and then I get my stride in my second game. So I bowl like a 118. It's respectable. Anything in the hundreds, if you're just a chump bowler like me, is respectable. But my second game, I really had the spin going, and I was just... Well, to be fair, it was just me and my dad, and we were hacking it up, but... Oh, I'm sorry. We were hacking it up, and he, he was getting the spares, but... Every time he got a spare, he'd throw like a one or a two in the next ball, so it would basically be like not even getting a spare. And I was hanging in there, and I just I pushed forward past him at the end with a 148, I think is what I got. I wrote it down. Uh, 148, yeah. So, that's a decent score for me. If I'm if I'm anywhere near 150, it's solid. I think my best ever is 170, which is it, it's solid. It's respectable. It's not 200 or anything like that, but that's a, that's another that's a whole other barrier. I'm going to launch myself off this because I'm so sick of this shit-ass car! Blow up, you piece! No, I can't even flip it. No, we'll just... It's so low to the ground and my spoiler works so well that it's impossible to even get in the air or flip it. Look at that. I'm just trying. Won't do it. Anyways, you saved for the whole video? Sweet, thanks. If you stopped after the review... Or if you even saw the review, there's probably like 14,000 reviews, videos out there right now. Or more, honestly. There's probably more like 100,000. So nobody would probably even watch this for review. But I needed to say stuff. I wanted to say stuff. I had to get stuff off my chest because nobody else I know have seen the goddamn movie besides the people I went with. So, yeah. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in... Uh, a week in the next video if you don't watch any other videos or if you are watching my other videos i will see you on monday tomorrow